Kevin Jackson Radio Show. What's up, everybody? Kevin Jackson here. Sanity is a cozy lie. That's a quote from a lady by the name of Susan Sontag. And I want to talk about sanity. Because when you talk about sanity, you also have to talk about insanity. Susan Sontag was called the dark lady of intellectual life. She was a 1960s era political activist, among other things, poet, photographer, etc. So you can imagine what her politics were. And she said sanity is a cozy lie. And it made me think, really, it's a cozy lie because I feel very sane. I believe most of you. You are, you know, very intellectual people. You're very smart. But you know what we don't do? We don't carry our intellect on our sleeves. I could use verbose words, big words, grandiose gestures and so and such, and make you believe that I'm smarter than what well, I am. I'm very smart. I'll, I'll admit that. But I don't need to do that. I can speak in normal tones. I believe you'll figure out that I'm pretty sane. Did you say, you know what, Kevin seems to deal in common sense. It, there's no, I, I tell people all the time, there's no mystery. There's no uh, crazy thing that I do that you go, wow, that Kevin, he, he's such a guru of thought. Common sense is no longer common. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't see what I do. I may deliver it rather comically or cleverly, but the thought processes are all yours. That's why I give you so much credit. I believe in you folks. You are brilliant people. I'd say this all the time. I write something and the comments blow me away. I would love to write a piece and then take all the comments and write another piece that would be Pulitzer Prize winning. Because your thoughts are so interesting to me. I may spur them. I may, you know, be the the genesis of them. I may be the, the spark that lights that in you. But you folks are amazing. And you know what's most amazing about us? We're amazing in our lack of complexity. That core value that we talk about all the time is just so easy to predict. If I say to you, hey, could you handle bringing in five new people into your household and tell me that it's going to be cost positive for you if they don't work? If they eat and use all the facilities and all that and they do that, that they don't even speak the language? And I could go on. I'm talking about immigration right now, but that's just an example. If I said, hey, would it be cool if I brought in a couple of people that you really don't know very well? They don't speak your language. They're culturally very different. They they have this thing called rape culture. They would consider you an infidel, ergo an enemy. You would either convert to their religion or they'll cut your head off in the middle of the night or maybe while you're preparing lunch. What would you say to me? Are you insane, man? Of course you would. But Susan Sontag, political activist of the 60s, says sanity is a cozy lie. See, she wants to imply that we're cozy in our sanity unless we are freakazoids high on LSD or some other hallucinogenic drug. We can't understand, man, that sanity is a cozy lie. Insanity is where you want to be, baby. Insanity. On the edge, you're living, you know, when you go, well, I'm going to take my check and I'm going to tithe 10% to the good Lord. And then I'm going to put 10% away for a rainy day that I'll never touch. And then I'll start saving for that vacation and the kids and getting married and blah, 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 and running my own business. And you structure your life. You're too sane. Why can't you cast your faith to the wind, Christian? Don't you believe that God will make a way? God will make a way somehow. <laughs> Remind me of an old church song. He used to sing. Yeah, God will make a way. God will definitely make a way, but he certainly puts it upon you to say, hey, you might want to plan. Don't you love these people that they're like, nah, man, you know, I, I don't want to get my you know, degree in anything that's going to actually make me money because I'm an artist. You know, I'm a, I'm a I'm a creator, man. And, you know, I just cast my fate to the wind. They don't even cast their fate believing in God. God will make a way. They go, no, I just cast my fate to the wind. I just go whichever direction the wind blows, man. Whatever, whoever I meet, whatever happens. Uh, then they're 45 going, we need a livable wage. It's insane what they want us to accept as a li-. No, what's insane 
was when you were 20 years old and people were telling you, learn a craft, don't believe in your poetry, <laughs> you don't believe that you're the best guitar player, the best singer, or that you actually have the drive to make it because you know what? 99.9999% of people do not get to what you, you want them to get. They, they don't get there. They flatly don't make it. And it is insane for you not to have a backup plan. Let me tell you, my, when I, my, my boys are old now, but I would say to them, look, guys, you may like being a basketball player, baseball player. You may like that the dream of whatever is looming out there for you. But let me tell you something. The likelihood of you achieving that is pretty slim. Enjoy it. How, you know how many college athletes there, there are? Good ball players, good baseball, basketball, track stars, whatever, that don't go beyond that. And you know what their backup plans are? I'll be a coach. I'll be a physical therapist. I'll be a personal trainer. They, they're they smart in thinking that. If you think that your goal, yeah, I'm going to go pro. I, yeah, I'm, as soon as I do this, I'll go pro. Yeah, famous last words of people that work at, you know, at the airport dumping out trash cans and I know this because one of my friends who played at SMU who was an amazing talent got caught up in coke and that's exactly what he was doing I went to the airport and I saw him I couldn't believe it but the reason why I bring all this up folks is you're sane you live life on the up and up you do it you play by the rules you do it the right way and then you instill that in your kids and people say it's a cozy lie the same life you've created, not the chaos. Some people go, it's fun to live in the chaos. Says who? Let me tell you something. I love knowing where my next meal is going to come from. It's in my refrigerator. <laughs> I love knowing I can put gas in my car. I love knowing in advance I've got speaking engagements. I love knowing in advance that my book is going to bring a certain number of revenue. I, there are lots of things I like to know. I like to be able to plan. Look, I'm all, I'm all about spontaneity. I think it's cool to be spontaneous. But I also think it's cool to be able to plan stuff. And I also think it's cool to be able to use your God-given common sense to understand that living in a sane world is the way people live. You want to be avant-garde, you want to be an artist, you want to be whatever it is that makes you feel like your life is different, be it. You want to party all night, do whatever that, that crowd does, do it. But you can't cherry pick your sanity. And that's what the left does, they cherry pick it. They want to be avant-garde, but then when it comes to, to things that could hurt them, then they get their sanity. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com. Beth Cook Moranville author of Closer Than Your Breath, A Book of Hope. Hope, that wonderful, wonderful four-letter word that you may feel completely out of. I wrote this book to give you great hope. It's not too late. If fetal position is an all-too-familiar place for you, I understand. If the next 60 seconds are too long, this book is for you. Wherever you are right now, whether you're dealing with divorce or death or sickness, take hope. You are going to make it through this pain. Don't roll your eyes. I've walked this road and I know it. The best is yet to come. Closer Than Your Breath, a book of hope from author and speaker Beth Cook Moranville can be found on Amazon.com or Kindle.com. For more information, visit CloserThanYourBreath.com or on Facebook at Closer Than Your Breath. 